Welcome. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We want to thank you so much for making it out in the rain and the cold. We truly appreciate you all being here tonight to support our friend, Saudi Gene Nezai. As you may know, Saudi is running for mayor of Škodra, which is located in northern Albania. And as, as you'll hear tonight, and once you hear from him, he is a great man that we've all come to know and love, and we truly believe he is the perfect man for the position. He is honorable and ethical, and we, we really believe he can affect positive change in the region. We, we want to especially thank uh, the Commissioner of West New York, Dr. Wiley, and his staff for being here tonight. We truly appreciate it. Um, just a little bit of background before uh, I introduce Saudi. He served as a, uh, he worked as an attorney for four years, um, and during that time he did such an incredible job and gave such a, such a great reputation, an ethical reputation, that he was appointed as the, what would be the equivalent of the director of the sheriff's office. And in that position he's been serving and doing a wonderful job, and Besides that, you know, we, we truly believe he is, 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 he's built an ethical reputation and he, he, he's the perfect man for it. So, without further ado, I'm just going to let the man speak for himself. And with that, Saadi Gunad Neza. And who was Zonia Zutoni? You are worried, Mr. Arkin. I will find another issue for my state and two-way. In the Rubin and Jot, the first year, politicus, Shiptara. Contribute to my state, I will be a Yazak Kunshman. As the Randusishman, perfectim, Setragon Pesimin, Che, Professus de Lobit Shiptar, the Americas, Kante, Candidatura, Ime, Percheveris in a Pusteri the Nor, and Sida Ka, and Vertet Nevoi Pernia, Intellectual Tendition. The experience manajuse for the land community pikrish at the university mushroom. Seriously diploma and overstated in the Tirans, faculty the disease, Navita Niman channel to do Niman channel to just. Many organism progressive, Silenior Rita Lansura and a fusion at the disease, Shkins of Eurdike Politica, Yam in the Ruar, Chem, Mayepe Terasi, Yosher Bay, Mayori the Provoyan team at the Fitur and Shiperi Mushaba, for the budget name Najim, the perfect sin, the pain, the transparent. Yes, you are right. Symbol Nathan, the Dishian team at Mir, the Simon, the Bestikin, Barshi Tare, that is Tafi Tim Electorate, that the Bait Pamunder, Pandushimin, a political and social, the Shabin, the community, the Wonder Professor. Why are you running for, uh, for this position? For this position, Pashkai Sepse, Yami Bino. My experience with the program team is that they are not going to be in the community. They are not going to be in the community. Because in the Shumit, we have been in the Shipri for 20 years of democracy. And in the 20 years, we have been in the city of the community. We have been in the community. We have been in the corruption. We have been in the Shipri. We have been in the Shipri. We have the variant that the Shqipëri can be used to use for the politics that are the same as the professors of the Shqipëri. What changes you would make if you are elected? I am not sure that we are going to be the staff of the Shqipëri. We are going to be the staff of the Shqipëri that we can be able to use for the Shqipëri. Do të ndikoj shumë në mirë menagjimin e të ardhurave dhe shpenzimeve të këti pushtetit e nërë, të budgetit. Do të ketë pa tjetër një menagjimin më të mirë të resurseve që ka vetë pozicioni geografikë i këti vendit, që ka djetë se shkodra ka një pozicion geografikë që ja kanë lakmi e mjatë vëndet të Europës pasi ka po ashtu ka malin fushën, brevdetin, drimin, punën, janë disa resurse që ja lokalizu të gjitha një vënd. 
for the children in Albania. Present healthcare system in Albania. Sistemi i shëndetësor në Shqipëri është vërtet një sistem si në kone komunizmi që faktikisht është një sistem që i ndimën të pa aftit dhe ata që në kanë mundësi. Por është problemi korupcionit a je që nuk i lënë me kry vërtet me marë shëbimin e kërku. We see the future of Albanian American investing in security in Albania or in Kosovo. Being that you're from law enforcement, which is something that you specialize in, how do you see yourself lowering the crime rate in the town that you want to be the mayor? Unë të temen ekzekutimin dhe zbatimin e ligjit për ekzekutimin e vëndime dhe gjithësore kanë pa cilësi dhe aftësi të mire me në gjuse dhe kja është arsue që kanë vëndos që unë jam personi i përshtachëm për të kanditu për të pozicion. At this time we'd like to invite Dr. Wiley, the Commissioner of West New York, if you'd like to speak. A lot of questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome this evening uh, to Saudi Nazir. Let's give him a hand again. <laughs> I have to say, um, I've been doing politics for about five years now. Um, I've been through wars. I've dealt with people who don't like you or do like you. But the main thing that I see in this gentleman here is something that um, is very unique. It's very, uh, how do I say, pure. Okay, this is somebody who's putting himself up to go into a party. That's something that wasn't really in his heart to do in the beginning, I understand. He came to America, he wanted to find out, he wanted to get educated here. He, became an, he wanted to become an attorney. He had a big plans for himself in America. But with the one thing I realized that I think when he did come to America, he realized what it was about to live free. He realized what it was about to be able to express yourself and be able to say what you believe in and what you support. And sometimes in a lot of the countries, and socialists, and I'm sure you see this quite often, and don't get me wrong, things, things do happen here. But I'm sure it's probably a little more extreme than where, where Albania, where you guys come from. And um, it's really a, a fear that we don't want to see people live the rest of their lives. And that's what drives me to do something. When I see that intimidation, I see a government not listening to their people. And they continue to do what they want to do, as he explains, um, not sharing the tax, but people don't pay their fair share of the tax because you're a socialist party and you're the Democrat, but you're not with us, so we're not going to give you the benefit. Okay? These are the things that I think that uh, Saadi has seen. And as him taking this step, and like I said, he's come up to this podium. Guys, it takes a lot to come up here. It takes a lot to put your face in front of the camera. And even it could be the closest people in the family to your friends and stuff like that. It's even harder to do that with you. Okay, so I mean, just the support though that you guys have given him today, coming here, for me, um, Adrian, his brother, is a fantastic friend of mine. He's been there for me many a times. And to see the Albanians come next to each other and remember something, you need to stick together. Never forget that. Never have a split party. Never have different opinions. There's always a way to compromise. And the, the problem in this world, I believe today, is that there's too many people that are fighting for their own self-interest. And if we started to open up our hearts a little bit, and sometimes if you are blessed with your money to have and things in your, your life, sometimes you gotta remember also about the small guy, the people who buy your products or go to your store, or you know, they, the people you benefit from. Because I know my life's a lot happier that way, and the things I believe in and I continue to fight for, that's what makes me wake up every day. And you know, and like I said, God has it in our lives for us to be 
wealthy. He wants us to benefit from things in life and for us to work hard. But don't ever forget about your brother. And when the, what Saudi has been doing here, and I had a little talk with him about that. I understand you have two children. He has a family, which puts a lot of things into perspective, especially when you're going to be a politician and you're going to run. And you're going to represent a community that really needs to uh, needs you. And believe me, and even in the community that I come from in West New York, up the block here, there's a lot of people crying out for help. And sometimes what upsets me is you see people who don't have the money, they don't have the support, they don't have the education or whatever it may be to get themselves up in front for people to pay attention. And what happens to the little guy is he gets pushed down. He doesn't know what he's talking about, he has no idea, he's intimidated, or whatever it may be. But it takes a special man like Saudi, a special man as myself, which I believe that he believes in the same beliefs I do. He wants to see a democratic government. He wants to see the socialists stop controlling your government. Okay, but this is the kind of man you want to support. He may not be the polished politician, I say. Took me over five years to get to the point where I'm talking to you now. But this is something he's going to learn. But this is the kind of gentleman who will give you 150%. He will work hard every day because he has, like I said, he has everything to prove. But this is the kind of guy you want here who's going to protect your country, who's, like I said, he has, a back, he has a, already a, a background in law enforcement. That is a lot to say. I tell, I tell you, what he's done up to this point in his life is something to be proud of. But let me give you a little advice, Sadia. Anytime you talk, you always talk from your heart. Because if you do that, you will never ever say the wrong thing. So when the time comes, if you're getting stressed and you don't think the questions are coming at you, give it all you got. Don't ever be afraid and don't hold back to say what you really want to say. Okay, but I love you and I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Our family had a very dramatic history. Our family was very patriotic. Our ancestors, they fought for the country. They were the first to go to war against any enemies of our country. Turkish Empire, etc., etc., etc. They, our ancestors, they died in wars. They were all heroes. And our job, my job, Saudi's job, Asia's job, was much harder than most of them. We had a very good leader. Because of ancestors, they worked too hard. They give their lives for the government. So it was almost impossible just to keep their name up. The main job for my brother, son, was not to be corrupted ever, period. That was number one priority. So I'm very proud for him that he kept the name. That was number one job. And the main job is not for us, for our family, to be corrupt or to have a shame. Because we lost too much. We cannot trade blood for money. And that's why I'm proud that he's very honest and he did a good job. And when I hear, when I go back in Albania and I hear people, Albanians, talking about Saudi very respectfully, very, you know, regarding him very high, I'm very proud. We grew up in a family very poor, concentrated camp. Because we fought outside enemies, we fought against the communist country inside Albania. We stand up against the communism. So even our government, communist government, it was against our family. And it was tough for Saudi to become what it become. For me and my little brother, we had to leave the country. For him, his job was to support his parents. And now all our friends are supporting us. So, cannot do that. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.